In the vastness of the cosmos, where mysteries abound and wonders await, a remarkable revelation has emerged, forever altering our perception of the universe. Hidden within the dense tapestry of star clusters, a celestial phenomenon of extraordinary proportions lies in wait. Supermassive stars. Until now, their existence eluded our grasp, remaining obscured by cosmic veils. However, a new era has dawned, as the James Webb Space Telescope, with its unyielding gaze, has pierced through the darkness, revealing these awe-inspiring giants. Brace yourselves, for the unveiling of these magnificent celestial beings signals a transformative chapter in our quest to comprehend the intricate workings of the cosmos. The universe, as we know it, stands poised on the precipice of profound change. As always, we start at the edge of the universe. For the first time in the cosmos's endless breadth, scientists have disclosed a cosmic marvel, altering our understanding of the universe. Something unique exists deep within dense star clusters. Stars. These, however, are not ordinary stars, but huge celestial creatures known as supermassive stars. The piercing gaze of the James Webb Space Telescope has revealed their existence. Prepare to be surprised, because things are going to change. So, first things first. According to the mainstream model of cosmology, the first stars formed between 500 million and 1 billion years after the universe arose from the Big Bang. That, however, is changing. Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden, we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Now, it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy, like the Milky Way galaxy, with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. But the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. That shouldn't happen. We are discovering clusters of stars rather than single stars in the early cosmos, which has taken the scientific community by surprise. So now, let's tune the telescope in to galaxies being born. And oh my gosh, who ordered this? We're finding galaxies in the Dark Ages. The star clusters in question are known as globular clusters, and they are ancient celestial enclaves that formed 13.4 billion years ago. They are not only the most massive and ancient star clusters, but they also have a unique feature, compositional variation among their stars. Picture this, stars born together, side by side, emerging from the same cosmic womb of collapsing gas and dust. Yet, despite their shared origins, they exhibit striking differences in the abundance of elements such as oxygen, nitrogen, sodium, and aluminium. This mystery, known as abundance anomalies, has baffled astronomers for years, complicating their efforts to solve the cosmic puzzle. Something is wrong. We may have to revise our theory of the creation of the universe. Now, I personally think that the solution to the problem is these are not baby galaxies at all. They're actually monstrous black holes. Black holes that formed after the instant of creation that's baffling scientists because they don't fit in the normal sequence of the birth of a galaxy. So I personally think that we're actually looking at monster black holes where perhaps new laws of physics are emerging. And again, if you can figure all this out, there could be a Nobel Prize waiting for you. <laughs> Undaunted by the difficulty, the research team sets out to discover the telltale characteristics of these enormous stars. They use the James Webb Space Telescope's infrared vision to look for globular clusters in their early faces. 
They use the telescope's incredible powers to peek into the furthest reaches of space and focus their attention on GNZ 11, one of the most ancient and farthest galaxies known to humanity. JWST, which is located a whopping 13.3 billion light years away, captures the galaxy in its infancy when it is only a few tens of millions of years old, making it an ideal hunting ground for nascent globular clusters. Their inquiry is guided by the particular nature of light. Chemical elements have distinct absorption and emission patterns, which leave fingerprints that disclose the chemical makeup of astronomical objects. The scientists methodically dissect the light from GNZ 11, uncovering two crucial bits of information that propel their quest forward. We have determined that GNZ 11 contains exceptionally high proportions of nitrogen and an abundance of stars, remarks Daniel Shara, a distinguished member of the study team and an astronomy professor at the University of Geneva. These findings create a vivid picture of the formation of numerous globular clusters and the presence of active supermassive stars within GNZ 11. They will extend their view to distant galaxies, investigating other globular clusters and looking for patterns that confirm their beliefs, using the James Webb Space Telescope as a guide. The cosmos urges us to go deeper, to unravel the secrets hidden inside its cosmic tapestry, with each breathtaking revelation. The pursuit of knowledge, the search for extraterrestrial life, and the study of celestial planets all feed our insatiable curiosity, propelling us into an uncertain but tantalizing future. The enormity and intricacy of the cosmos humble us as humanity travels into the unknown, armed with information and a hunger for understanding. And with each breakthrough, we get closer to unlocking the mysteries hidden among the stars. With Webb's performance, it's only a matter of time before the cosmos shines in a different light. So, would you like to travel to the other side of the universe, or stick with us here, at the edge of the universe, until we meet again?